you guys. Oh my God, I can't believe it. That is insane. Are you kidding? Wow. You know, I don't know much, but I know what I'm talking about. You guys. Oh my God. My name is Christine. Welcome back to my channel. And I have never been so excited to film a video before. I have been waiting for this package for two weeks. And I know, I know, I totally get it. That does not sound like that long of a time. But as you can see by the title of the video, I got my freaking Toluca Swim package. It was quite the journey. I had to check in three different locations only to realize that some nice person brought this package up to my room, but I could not be more grateful to be able to review the swimwear launch haul brand for you all. Because if you guys are anything like me, I'm sure that you love supporting small businesses, especially if they're woman owned. So this is just another example of one of those. And I haven't even opened it yet. This is dedication, you guys. I had to hold myself back. I'm not the type of person who just lets packages sit around. As soon as it gets delivered, I need to open it. So let's get right on into this video. Okay, but first, really quick, I just wanna bring up a few things before we get any further into the video. In case you guys didn't know that much about this company, it is basically a drop-based company. So this was one collection. They bought stock for it once it's sold out. It's gone forever, basically, and then they'll just keep doing launches and big drop. Now, I have to say, one thing that I really liked about this drop was that there was so much inventory. I mean, I obviously don't know how many SKUs in general that they bought, but I'm telling you guys, I went back hours later, days later, and there was still stuff in stock. I mean, maybe. Maybe I was the only psycho who set my alarm so that I was there as soon as it dropped on October 9th. But I'm telling you, there was a decent amount of stuff. And if something was sold out, there was plenty of other choices in your size that you could have chosen from. And another thing that I liked from this website was that everything was so inclusive. Size, race, everything. Which I think says a lot about them because on all of their advertising on social media, they were saying how badly they wanted to be all inclusive for all women to feel comfortable and confident in, in these bathing suits and I have a feeling that they are going to stay true to what they said. Again, there's still some pieces up on their website, so in case you're wondering, it said on October 9th that everything would ship within one to two weeks. It basically shipped in exactly two weeks, and then I got my package two days after that. So it was very quick from when they said that things were going to start shipping. And on top of that, the website was very user-friendly and so, so easy to use. You could look at each and every category. You could filter by so many different sizes. You could type in what you we're looking for and overall I would definitely recommend you guys checking their site out because there's something for everybody even if you just browse they have something for everyone and then lastly before we get into this video I will link the three women who started this company down below Taylor Chloe and Whitney obviously we would not have these bathing suits here today if it weren't for them and their idea and bringing this to life so I definitely wanted to link them down below so that you guys could check them out and support them on other platforms one thing is is that these bathing suits were kind of a little bit pricey. Each top was $70 and then each bottom was $65. Everything I have here to show you today is all in the size small, which I would say is pretty true to size for me. Occasionally I will wear a bathing suit in the size medium, but that's only if there's like cups or something. But when it's just a loose thin fabric, like I believe most of these are, then I'm typically a size small. So I will be judging how it fits based off of that. So I don't know about you, but I am ready to open these bathing suits and I need to see what they look like. I'm so excited. And look how cute this packaging is, you guys. Every single item came in its own little Ziploc bag. I think that is so cute. And it just says Toluca across the front. Okay, so the first thing I got is the Ophelia Reptilia top. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys, look how stinking cute this top is. Are you freaking kidding me? This is so incredibly soft and buttery. The print is so dang cute. I didn't even realize that the back of this has like a little double strap across. What really drew me to this top is this little ruffling detail at the bottom, like kind of under the boob, under the strap. For some reason, like I've seen this on bathing suits before, but I haven't been able to find a bathing suit that I really, really like that has that. So I'm very excited about that little detail. And look at this cute little tag. Like, come on guys. It matches the bathing suit. Do they all match? Okay, so they're all snake print. That is so cute. And again, I got this in the size small. It looks like you can take the cups and kind of like slide them around and move them around wherever you want on the bathing suit. 
So you can kind of ruche them up like this if you wanted to to make it a little smaller. And then if you wanted to make it wider, you can kind of just pull it apart. So I think that's really cute and very versatile. And I guess stands by what they said when they wanted it to be able to be comfortable for all women. I love this. So far it's a 10 out of 10. We'll see how it fits and feels once I try it on. But so far, you guys, loving Toluca Swim. Okay, next I got the matching bottoms. Now, I'm not usually one who wears high-waisted bikini bottoms. Bikini bottoms. Usually I will wear... Did my voice just crack? Did I just say bikini bottom like Spongebob? Anyway, so I'm not usually the type of person that wears high-waisted bikini bottoms. Usually I wear like low-rise and will like hike them up a little just because it's more flattering. I kind of have like an hourglass body shape so I have wider hips and broader shoulders and then kind of a smaller waist. So I think that's just usually the most flattering on my body type. But I didn't want to get all of the same bottoms in just different patterns. I really wanted to try different bottoms with this company. So these ones are the Reptilia Luna Midi. So these are a little bit high-waisted but still a bit cheeky in the back. They had, I believe, two other bikini bottoms that were more coverage, but this was kind of more my style. And then again, it has just the cute little tag, which I think these details so far are just so cute. So, so far, I'm really liking this bathing suit. Okay, next we have the Angelina Panthera top. Oh my god! You guys, they have outdone themselves. I want to cry. Look how stinking cute this is. Like, the detail, the detail, darling. Oh my god. What I really love about this bathing suit is that it's not just kind of like an animal print fabric. There really is like this, what's this called? Velcro? Velour. There's this velour kind of pattern on top of the black and then there's this ruffle detailing. And this girl, this has an underwire. This is supportive as heck. This is gonna be supportive. I think everything so far has just been so cute. And then again, it has multiple spots that you can kind of hook it in the back to adjust it to your body type. And then it just has these ruffle little shoulder parts. And then it has like a little keyhole in the middle from where the bathing suit kind of goes together and then it ties. And then next I have the matching bottoms. And then these are the Vesta Mini Panthera bottoms. And like I said, these bottoms are kind of more of something that I'll wear like low rise and then kind of hike them up. And I like how they kind of already have that cut going, like as you can see, like it does like a little U shape. And then it matches the top perfectly. It just has a little velvet detail on top. And then this one just like a little bit cheeky in the back, but still very cute. It feels pretty stretchy, but not too stretchy, which I like because that means it usually holds you in better. So I'm really excited to see how this fits but so far I'm really liking it it's really soft and it feels well made you guys I never thought I would say this before but so far do not hold me to it okay you can hold me to it for my girl Whitney but I'm thinking that this is worth the money and I have never in my life spent $65 on a top or $70 on a bottom I think the most I've ever spent on a bathing suit is probably $60 total for the top and bottom and that's me splurging so this really says a lot for somebody who's balling on a budget Okay, and then the last bathing suit I got was a one piece. I had to try a one piece out. This one was $115, which again, kills my heart and soul. <laughs> but so far the quality has been so, so amazing. This is the Artemis Feelis one piece with this little detail in the front. Again, I got this in a size small. I'm not typically one that wears one piece bathing suits, but I have been on the hunt for like a sexier, cuter, more mature, but also still my young 20s bathing suit. But what really drew me to this on the site was how high the sides were. For some reason, I just love that look when the bathing suit comes up high on the side on your hips. I think that's just so flattering. And by adding this belt in the middle, it really cinches in your waist. So, I mean, I feel like I have longer legs than I do a torso, but I don't have a super short torso. So I'm hoping that this just kind of fits like normal clothes because I feel like I have kind of a typical body shape. And for some reason, I feel like this pattern was a little bit less popular on their website. It seemed like this pattern had a lot of inventory left over. And I feel like this pattern also wasn't really advertised as frequently as like the snake print. I feel like that one was in every single picture. So I kind of want to step out of my comfort zone, try this on, see what it was like, and then really show you guys how it fits. And then last but not least, I completely forgot about this, but as you were checking out on the site, it said that if you spent over $150, you got a free bag. But I kept looking everywhere to see what the bag was because it, I think it's called the Maya bag. 
but they weren't for sale and I couldn't find it anywhere on the website. But it kind of just looks like a little bag that you put your wet bathing suit in after, I'm assuming, or maybe you could just use it for like a makeup bag or a toiletries bag. It doesn't really feel like it's lined so that it can get wet. Like if you put your wet bathing suit in here after swimming or something to take it home, it doesn't really feel like it'll hold on to the water. Like it feels like it'll spill out. Maybe we can try that. I'll have to get a water bottle. Okay, I'm back. I got a water bottle. I really wanted to test this out because on the website it doesn't say anywhere what type of bag it is. And like I said, it's not for sale. So I'm curious to see if this is more of a makeup bag or if this is a bag that you can actually put your wet bathing suit in. Here, I guess let me try this first. Okay, it's like running off. This is freezing cold water. I mean, it's not absorbing anywhere. I can't tell if the inside of the bag is just cold or if it's actually wet. I mean, it looks like it works, guys. But I think that's really cool to have a bag. I've never had anything like this. Usually I'll just bring like a Walmart bag wherever I'm going if I'm going to like the beach or a pool and then I'll just toss it in there and it smells after. But if you have something cute like this to carry it around, I think that is such a good idea. Like, excuse me, let me get my matching bathing suit and my cute little bag and put them in together. Like that is so stinking cute, come on. Okay, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you really liked it and that you learned some more about Toluca Swim. Like I said before, I'll link the three ladies who started the company down below so that you can support them on other platforms. I would seriously recommend trying out Toluca Swim. It's very inclusive and I think companies like that are really great to support. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more videos from me and give this video a thumbs up so that I know you like these types of videos. Please leave a comment down below of other videos that you'd like to see from me. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!